Okay, I want to speak on Rapunzel at Disney, now ignoring black children. One thing I can't seem to understand to save my life is why is black Americans still supporting these businesses? You know, I can understand you taking your children to Hershey, to Disney, uh, even to Sesame Place to ride, to get on the rides, uh, to enjoy themselves as children. But when it comes to these characters, why don't you prepare your children to not put themselves in a position where they will be hurt and disappointed. You teach your children to hate police. You teach your children to distrust white people. But when it comes to these characters that's in the image of white people, you allow your children to run up to them, eyes wide open, hands open, arms open, welcoming them, and then they turn around and ignore your kids. I'm going to say some things that many Black Americans don't like. All of this stuff we see happening today, for example, Disney Place and these characters ignoring your Black children, now Disney and these characters are ignoring your children, you are to blame. The so-called Black Democrats are responsible for all of this mess that's going on today. Let me ask you a question. When you guys were out there protesting Black Lives Matter, when you was out there talking about cultural appropriation and you're attacking white women for having a black hairstyle and you're saying that, that, that the white women were stealing your culture and you out there protesting and complaining and then you attack white women that date black men. You attack black men for dating white women, but yet you don't mind taking their men. What did you think was going to happen with all of this George Floyd, Black Lives Matter, separatism, we need to separate ourselves, the white man is the enemy. And listen, your adversary was the police that was killing unarmed black people. All white people had nothing to do with what the police was doing. All white people didn't have anything to do with that. All white people are not racist, just like all black people are not criminals. So you guys are out there protesting. You're, you're, you're setting businesses on fire. You're looting. You're stealing. You're acting like savages. Don't forget the knockout game. Remember the knockout game when you were knocking out elderly white people? And you don't think these white people are going to finally one day stand up you think they're just gonna forgive you because you're black right doesn't work that way see these white people have feelings just like you do and i'm not defending white people i'm just talking about your foolishness what did you expect to happen when you guys are out there doing everything black 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 even on tiktok just about every video that a, a, a so-called Black American post is about Black people. It's about racism. We got to have our own and the white man this and the white man that and discrimination and racism and slavery. And you putting all that negative energy out in the air. What do you expect to happen when you go to places like Disney and Sesame Place and these same white people, remember the white Karens? You guys always post these white women on video being Karens. But then these same Karens are in these costumes. And you expect for them to love your kids, take pictures with your children. You expect that now after you attack these white people. Let's not forget 
critical race theory that you're trying to force on these white people in schools. Let's not forget about um, the attack on white people violently that had nothing to do with police. And I talked about everything because I had I had a list. I had everything written down here. And I, I went over, I talked about just about everything. I talked about um, the Black Democrats being responsible for this because you're out there protesting and everything is Black, 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 Black. And then there's Black Lives Matter. There's defund the police. There's critical race theory. The whole George Floyd thing and you're tearing down white statues. American history. You talk about separatism. White women, the Karens, the knockout games, the riots, the burning down of businesses, the looting, the attack on white people violently that had nothing to do with police. The attack on white women for dating black men, but yet you take their women, uh, take their men. Attack on white women for using black products, hair care products, and fixing their hair. There's a white female that's on TikTok, and she had her hair in cornrows. And believe it or not, black women attacked her. They made videos talking about uh, culture appropriation and they're stealing our culture and they're stealing this and they're stealing that. And the white female took her hair down. But yet you using white hair care products, you using hair products that's uh, created and designed and sold by white people, right? And then you go to these parks and your children are taught at home to idolize these characters you buy dolls for them. You buy costumes for them. And then when these characters, these same white people that you talked about, these Karens, that's under these costumes, now you want to cry, oh, they hurt my child's feeling. My child is feeling sad. Why do you support these places? You should teach your children at home not to run up to these characters. Yeah, take them to Disney World take them to Hershey Park, take them to Cedar Point, let them do the rides. You know, you buy drinks and food and whatever, have a good time, go home. But when it comes to these characters, if you're so into blackness, don't even buy white dolls for your children. Why support these businesses? And then you expect the businesses to apologize because you created this war. Black people created this. You created this for yourself, man. You put your children. And now, just recently, I read an article where this, this, this little child shot a police because he was arresting the father. They showed these two little black boys attacking the cops, hitting at them, pulling on their uniform because they're taught at home at a very early age to hate police, to hate white people. And then you want your children to, to run after these same white characters, these Disney characters. These same characters, these costumes have them same white people in them. So I blame black people. You guys were the ones that were on the front line. You voted for Joe Biden. You voted for Kamala Harris. You put this Supreme Court justice because she's a black female that can't even identify what a woman is. Don't know what a woman is. But you're going to put it in there. You fight and protest for everybody else, these illegal immigrants coming in here. And then when Joe Biden started passing laws to protect them, now you feeling left out. Why he don't make laws for us? So this is your fault. Stop supporting these businesses. Um, boycott, if you need to do that, you do everything else, boycott. Don't spend your money there. And show them how much power you have What else could I say? You know, I, I'm talking, it's like talking to a wall, man, because you guys just don't listen. And then you attack people like me. And then when you guys have something going on, you expect me to join forces because of my skin complexion after you finish calling me racial names. Think of all the black people that's Republican, conservative, that supported Trump, and you call them coons and Uncle Ruckus and Uncle Toms and all this other nonsense. And then when you have something going on, you want us to join forces with you because you're black. Away with that mess.